Cube Avengers. Welcome to another episode of BevNerd Podcast. I'm your host, Jason, at BevNerd Coleman. This is episode 117, and I am super stoked for this episode. In the 117 episodes, in the two plus years of BevNerd, I have been looking for one soda. It was like Captain Ahab's white whale, Moxie. This is a soda that I have been looking for since the inception of BevNerd. Um, it's one of those ones that just always seems to stick out. It's, you always see pictures of it. It's like a, it's like a unicorn, and I've always wanted to try this. Lo and behold, um, on a trip to Birmingham, I went to Fresh Market and found them in my infinite nerddom. I bought one to review, I bought one to just enjoy, and I bought one to never open. So, hey, <laughs> shut your damn mouth. Um, what this is, Moxie, it's one of the very first mass-produced soft drink sodas. Uh, since 1884, it is the official soft drink of the state of Maine. Um, it's got a really, really cool backstory. Um, back before it was like a real soda, it was, um, it was originally called Moxie Nerve Drink. Um, it was created by Dr. Thompson, and it, he claimed that it had like a, uh, a rare South African herb in it that, um, that was found by Lieutenant Moxie and he used it as a panacea, which is like a cure-all. So whatever, whatever he found in the South African jungles may or may not still be in Moxie today. Um, and when they added uh, carbonation to it to make it a real soda, they changed the name. Guess what they changed it to? Beverage Moxie Nerve Food. So yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's like, yeah, it's, um, it reminds me of Big Red. It used to be called something really ridiculous too. So the phone store. Some famous drinkers and enjoyers of Moxie just so happen to be the President of the United States, Calvin Coolidge. What up, Cal? And also, uh, it was also endorsed by uh, baseball legend Ted Williams. Justin, did you know that? I did not know that. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we're going to do a uh, poor cam. Oh, poor cam! P O U R C A M. Poor cam. Time to pour it into this uh, fancy clear cup. I will say this really quick as Jason's pouring this. The one thing I noticed about the Moxie, I'm going to kind of zoom in real quick. It doesn't, like, there's nothing really about it that makes it look like a uh, Nuka-Cola, but it does have a Fallout vibe to right. it. Right. I really yeah. love that. A, a Fallout, Bioshocky kind of vibe. It's like almost kind of like Pip-Boy. It's got a good 1940s feel to it. Um, that's uh, Mr. Moxie on the cover there. I did not know that. But, uh, wow, there you go. Yeah. Awesome. It really definitely looks like a cola, root beer, uh, Dr. Pepper, any of your dark drinks, it definitely looks like that. Let's to get a whiff. Oh, the nose. <laughs> wow, that smells fantastic. It smells like a, a root beer cola kind of thing. You definitely get like an herbally medicinal quality. Something right. that I really look forward to in sodas. And I'm sure this is like really close to my <laughs> face. Uh, let's try this. Sorry, guys. We don't have smell of vision at, J uh, at BevNerd. Time to drink Moxie. Cheers, guys. Oh, he stole my catchphrase. Oh, that face. <laughs> That's the face. Wow. That's so flavorful. This is this is so good. This is definitely a sipping soda. Um, it's got like a really like... It's like, let's say you had a root beer, but then you put like more root in it. Like it's very, very like concentrated root. It's the, the syrup consistency itself, it's a very thick soda. It's carbonated pretty well. It's not like over carbonated. And it's not flat at all. Uh, you definitely get like a licorice taste, very strong licorice taste, um, very rooty. And I looked at the uh, ingredients are carbonated water, sugar, so that's always good, natural and artificial flavor, caramel color, sodium benzoate. But here's the kicker Ganesian root extratives. So that's probably the big deal that, you know, if you, maybe, maybe this is like Fallout or Nuka Cola. You drink this and you gain some health back. So, I know I feel better already. Caffeine and citric acid. I what the rats are, though. So, I don't know. Probably two, two rats a second. Nerd bombs everywhere! It's better than eating a rat roach. Oh! Let me tell you that. But, uh, I can't fall out. I, I really like this. Um, I was almost worried that I would kind of hop this soda up too much because it's, I've been wanting it so bad. I've heard nothing but fantastic things. But guess what? This soda is off the chain, dog. It lives, off the, it lives up to the height. It, it, this this soda. Yeah, here, take the bottle, sir. Oh, he gave me the whole bottle. Yeah, I'm not getting it. So this is your white whale, right? Yeah. So if that makes you Ahab, does that make me Ishmael? 
Sure, I don't read. <laughs> but uh, this is a fantastic herbally uh, medicinal Rudy beer uh, that just it just it just hits all the notes that I love in a soda. It's what soda should taste like. It's the way soda should hit your taste buds. Everything about this. This is almost. This has got to be almost the perfect beverage. This is fantastic. This should really be in way more places than where it is. I don't know what's going on. America, wake up and drink Moxie. And um, it, it just may, maybe maybe something about it. You know, Moxie seems to be a uh, kind of a phrase that's coined. Um, it's kind of coined the phrase of Moxie. What? How do, you, how do you say that? Moxie is kind of like uh, synonymous with the, the spirit, passion, courage. And you know, when someone says you have Moxie, it's like you got a set of cojones. This soda definitely has that. It's definitely definitely could knock off anything on the shelves at Walmart, bar none. A fantastic. Bevner gives it a freaking A+. Plus. Yeah! Awesome. So cheers. Um, that's okay. So if you are like me and definitely want to get more information about Moxie, go to their website, drinkmoxie.com. If you want to follow them on Twitter, they're at official Moxie. And if you're uh, one of those people that uses the Facebooks, uh, get off Farmville, get off Marvel's Avengers Alliance, because I done whooped your butt and 23 percentile in the world for this latter He's season. And uh, check them out at facebook.com slash drinkofficialmoxie. This gets a golf clap, too. You know what else gets a golf clap, Jay Bear? What's that? Bevner.com! Oh! What so is Bevner.com? Bevner.com is our website. It's our blog, blogosphere, where you find other videos like this one. Jay Bevers, Craft Beer, our Craft Beer Show. That's my show. Uh, an excellent blog by truck driver, The Highway Man. He just visited the Vortex Bar and Grill in Atlanta. And if you read that blog and you like it, just imagine this. He's typing it in on his cell phone and texting it to me. So you gotta give the guy some props. Thanks. I think I got all the stuff. Yeah. Awesome! Uh, <laughs> that was great. That was Moxie, and I can't wait to try it again. Oh! Oh, before we go, um, every year uh, we participate in Extra Life Charity. It's a 24-hour video game marathon to raise funds for Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. The one that we raise money for is Children's of Birmingham, Alabama. So if you want to donate money to that, go to bevnair.com and click the banner at the top of the page. You'll see it, uh, or see this link at the bottom of the video. And for every dollar that you donate, you're entered to win a raffle for fabulous prizes. So just keep up with us on that, and you'll be in the know. You'll be helping kids, and you'll be maybe getting some cool stuff, too. <laughs> but uh, anyways, guys, and you know what? Before I go, I know I've said before I go 20 times. I'm just really excited about Moxie. Whenever I drink it, I really feel like I go into 1930s newscaster voice. I'm like, yeah, drink a Moxie, see? You just want to be like swinging like your, um, your chain and your zoot suits, and that's just how I really feel about this soda. I, it's like, if I could cosplay as a soda, it would be Moxie, and I don't even know what that means. I'm done. Know your audience, bro.